and it's prime time in Portugal and it looks to be a good start from Wesley Caspers and Miron Pill slotting in behind there. Brody Zed looking to challenge but is it going to be close enough? It's actually James Abazi under pressure from Marcel Hull into turn one, two and three. It's all bunched up behind and it's Marcel Hull trying to go around the outside of James Abazi at turns four and he'll have the inside for turns five. So that's Marcel Hull up a place. James Abazi falls down to fifth position but he fights back on the outside of turn four and down into turn five, Tory Vips they go. There's a little bit of contact between the Red Bull and the McLaren, and they're bumping and buffeting off the circuit. Mika Luhu trying to go around Mans von der Berg as well. They're still too wide. Down into turn seven and into Samsung. Abasi fights back, and that was absolutely on the money between them. The Alfa Romeo under pressure here from the championship leader, and there will be more pressure heaped on as they go through two, three, and head towards four. It will be EOS Burn for her, the Haas and he'll close and close down and he looks to the outside because he wants the inside at turn five keeps two wheels in and there's contact oh, between the two and he moved a robust in his defense he'll try to look down the inside at turn six can he get it done no there's oh. contact Dennis K spent spinning here comes Alfie White into the lead of the Grand Prix he goes into first he has that six second penalty but he goes into first here Ali Ruder in second he'll be devastated with the contact he tried to back out of it, but it was a bit halfway Harry from him. And Jamal in third uh, position. Dennis Kostelov will be fuming. Got uh, a clip, apparently, of both Dirk and B-Roy having a spin. So, Gareth, over to you. Can you bring us some analysis to put this one to bed? Yeah, let's go straight away to that B-Roy clip. Uh, and it is coming into Tamborello chicane. Uh, that he is a little bit offline. He's already struggling. Then on the exit, he dips a wheel too much onto the curb, spins around, and he smacks his back wing and his front wing into the wall. And that has been deemed enough to cause a safety car. So I don't think that was intentional, unless he's excellent at uh, <laughs> bad driving and uh, maybe he's a great driver normally but uh, in the GTE class the 404 racing car will stick to the inside line and I think he's just going to be able to hold him off oh no there's contact between two of them because he outbroke himself and that is going to cost some mega time and actually Chicken Das who's just uh, not mad, but managed to get by Aiden Hurt will be able to get by now. these LMP cars are coming as well and this is the worst time for the LMP cars who are leading the race his teammates defend but last duty will stick it in there probably using a whole chunk of EOS to do so Ooh. and they're not leaving each other much quarter almost touching and now he's right behind the Ferrari of Miron Pill Miron Pill I think has made a mistake through turn four there and he's going to try and go around the outside at turn five Wesley Caspers could go up the inside of both of them or at least get out of position Matt Martin Aldrich has gone flying off the track onto the infield and meanwhile Lastuli and Wesley Caspers still too wide here a good show of racing from the Red Bull and the Ferrari and Wesley Caspers showing the outside of Rint making a little bit of a mistake he goes off the track Whoa. he joins and he crashes into the Alpine he goes flying into the wall and I think he just about collected it but he's down into sixth position there a too hasty a rejoin and Mikel Nordl is up into third position here Last Dooley will look to take the fight with Milan Pill Milan Pill would be delighted to see Wesley Caspers fall down the order here Again, a bit of a last lap bottle from yourself, would you say? I'm going all in for the win. <laughs> I was trying to get the ultimate switchback of dreams and maybe Alex get a little wriggle on himself. So I was thinking about the win, wasn't thinking about consolidating P2. Yeah, and he's looking to battle back maybe. He's going to get really close behind, but he doesn't have the ERS to burn. As you said, flashing down the straights. And I think Meraki would be best placed just to try and stick with Bushy Ants here and recharge in the DRS zones and uh, maybe fight back later on here. But it was really a sitting duck on the straight, and that is a perfect example why you need to sip EOS like a fine wine rather than drink it like a fizzy pop. Yeah, well, absolutely right. I'll tell you what, superb analogy there, Gareth. Uh, and it's a bit uh, final day of school here in Tier 1. <laughs> I think all the rules are going out of the window and overtakes are being demanded to be made. Mika Luoff, who is right on the inside. Oh, my crikey. I've just joined something absolutely illegal down the inside <laughs> at Turn 15. He just, well, just absolutely watched. rammed it down the inside at uh, Turn 15 against the Hass. And the Hass loses a few positions because of that. 
and uh, Sven Neiden right behind Mill and Pill for the lead of the race. Mans Fantenberg coming around the final <laughs> corner, looking to go late again, and he goes. And Safso actually under pressure, and as he come to the line, it's just Ali who's had a brilliant restart for the Ferrari, and he is side by side as they head down towards turn one. Bushy Ants also looking to make up for a bad restart last time out. Just Ali still too wide. Can Bushy Ants make it three wide? He doesn't, but Just Ali will go deep on the brakes. Will there be contact between the McLaren and the Ferrari? There isn't. And and actually, Safso still fighting through two and three. And a little bit of a moment from Ali and a little bit of a wobble. And that means that Bushy Ants has been able to get Safso. Will he go around the outside and late break? Ali pushing and pushing Mercedes all the way out. And that is Gillen into fourth position. He gets ahead of Safso and he'll have the inside of turns five and six. GP68 isn't too far away here. And he'll look to go too wide with Safso, who was started in second position, but was caught out by that restart. And it's been an atrocious restart. From Zafso. Of course, it was Matteo who won the last race. It was really topsy turvy. A lot of front runners running into problems. Of course, we saw Sixteen Linhart run into a disconnection issue. We saw Snakes going for the overtake of the lead on uh, Leonard Jask, and uh, he was furious about that shunt. We can see that at the bottom. Uh, he was livid with the incident, actually, afterwards, complaining that someone two seconds a lap would even dare to fight him. And just Ali is going to lose third position, is he? All these points are so crucial for the championship battle with Sasso. They're going to go too wide into the final corner. There's contact between the two. Just Ali oh, goes no. and flying and Bushy Ants is facing the wrong way. And, oh, it's, there's even more afters. I think that's Sasso being pushed up wide he does climb up into seventh position but Gillen takes sick his uh, takes the sixth win the sixth different winner here Gillen in his second attempt has gone from second to first and he is our race winner today we missed that Tim McMarduck in second just Ali really did not want to lose that position to uh, Bushy Ants at the end there and uh, he did maintain it we'll have to look at that one after the race